you guys, Erin and Dusty here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back, or if it's your first time, then welcome to our channel. <laughs> so today we're gonna be sharing with you guys our top seven skincare tips and tricks to help combat acne and aging and give you that glowing and youthful skin that we all desire. Yes, so that's really what it's all about. At the end of the day, we all wanna look better and feel our best. These tips are gonna help you do that. If you guys like these topic talks, you know the drill, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, click that bell to stay notified, leave us some love, a, a friendly comment below, and share it with friends. And as always, follow us on all forms of social media, especially Instagram. We're always sharing more of our health and wellness tips and tricks there on a daily basis. Yep. So let's dive right into it. Tip number one is hydration. Yes. So hydration is key for healthy and youthful, glowing, plump, <laughs> luscious skin. So one of the most important things that we do every single morning is start with fresh filtered water, about 32 ounces to be exact. <laughs> yep, there are about a million different rules when it comes to water. People ask me all the time, what kind of water do you drink? Distilled, purified, spring water. Do you have an RO system in your house? At the end of the day, just drink water and drink a lot of it. Yes, so on top of that, besides starting by flushing your body with water first thing in the morning, also try to amp up those fruits and veggies and yep. water dense foods. Those are also going to hydrate your body as well. Yes, so we hear a lot of people that say, well, I eat so much fruit, I don't feel like I need as much water. It's true, you don't. Aaron and I will sometimes split a whole watermelon and yeah, I won't be thirsty for a while because there's so much water in that watermelon. Exactly, so last tip on staying hydrated is get yourself a quality water bottle. Yes. Tote it with you no matter where you go, keep that puppy filled up. Oh, there's even water bottles out there that will track your water intake, yep. that sync up with your phone. So if you need <laughs> reminders like that, just do whatever you've gotta do to keep your body and your system flush. Skincare tip number two is nutrition. You've got to watch what you eat. And if you know us or know anything about us, we are so focused on the food. We stick personally to a whole food, plant-based, vegan diet, and it has helped <laughs> both of our skins immensely. So that being said, it is very easy to eat a vegan diet <laughs> consisting of all junk food. Right. So the top three culprits being SOS, yes. <laughs> salt, oil, and sugar. These are sure to give you all kinds of acne, yep. aging issues. Yep. So if you can steer clear of those, you're good to go. So fruits, veggies, nuts, seeds, beans, whole grains, legumes, you name it. These are gonna be fantastic for your skin. Yep. I always first think of berries because they're super high in antioxidants, yep. easy to come by, frozen or fresh. Get those into your smoothies, top your oatmeal bowls. Berries are awesome for skin. For me personally, I think of things like avocados. So I'm a naturally greasy, oily skin guy and I love avocados and I feel like they just get my skin all plump and juicy and, and ripe like a, like a sweet avocado. So I focus on, on healthy fats when I think about my skin. One other thing we do every morning is a green smoothie. It's yeah. a fantastic way to get all of the nutrition that you need. I think ours has about 50% of our daily requirements, which is so awesome. Yeah. But the biggest component in there is the leafy greens yes. because these are gonna be alkaline to the body they're going to help to neutralize any acidity which ultimately is going to impact you from the inside out and help your skin to glow right so they say our skin is our biggest organ if you are feeling ill on the inside it will show on your skin so we'll take you through the garden real quick and show you those leafy greens that aaron's talking about we grow them at home they don't cost us a thing we throw them in our smoothies and our salads and they have literally <laughs> healed us from the inside out <laughs> proper skincare means proper nutrition so we're gonna make our morning green smoothies we're all out of kale from the grocery store but we've got plenty at home hey bud hi the weather finally snapped and got cold <laughs> Let's just go out here. We've got lacinato kale, some purple curly kale. I think I'm gonna pick some of these collards. They're looking extra delicious. 
So greens are gonna be super alkalizing. They're gonna help to neutralize any acidity in your body, which is most definitely going to help your skin. <laughs> so moving on, skincare secret number three is fight oil with oil. Yep. Now that might sound a little odd to you, but <laughs> I can honestly say that I used to have super oily, acne prone skin, and I would constantly try to dry it out with products containing salicylic acid and things like that, yep. alcohols, just constantly trying to dry my skin out and it would produce extra oil because it knew that it needed to be moisturized. So right. then I ended up with this crazy combination skin that was really oily and shiny, but really dry and flaky at the same time, yep. which was a poor combination, which just equates to things getting trapped underneath those dead skin cells. I was the exact same. I used to rub and scrub all night before bed and I <laughs> wouldn't put anything on it. I thought, if I can dry this stuff out, I'll be golden in the morning. But like Aaron said, it was dry, it was flaky, pimples would form underneath. But as soon as I made that switch, oh my gosh, my skin has been so much better. On that note, the type of oil can vary from person to person. Right. So for some people, they might find that coconut oil is fantastic. Yep. Honestly, we use coconut oil for about anything and everything. Yep. I use it on my entire body, but I will say that it is a little tricky when it comes to my face. I prefer to use argan oil because it's non-comedogenic, which means that it won't clog the pores. Right. Sometimes coconut oil can be prone to doing that if you have sensitive skin. So I've used coconut oil for the last probably three or four years and it was just a little bit greasy. So I moved to argan oil and now I've kind of fallen on jojoba oil. So you can read about all of these oils. And for me, the jojoba is a little bit thinner. It dries a little bit um, drier, less greasy. So for me, I'm loving it. And again, I just pile that stuff on and put it on two or three times a day and it seems to be working for me. So <laughs> so get brave and give oil a try. Yeah. If you guys are already oil lovers like us, let us know below. We're kind of duking it out between jojoba and argan. <laughs> right. <laughs> let us know what team you're on. <laughs> yes. Okay, so number four, exfoliate. Now we just got done saying that we are over exfoliating like we used to. And the truth is we kind of are. I only exfoliate like once, maybe twice a week, and I definitely don't use things like Aaron mentioned before, salicylic acid, no harsh chemicals. These are homemade exfoliators that we are using and loving. So that being said, as much oil as you apply to your face, as nourished as your skin is from eating those healthy fats, we all have dense, dead skin cells that tend to build up and accumulate. Yep. And again, going back to trapping in all of that bacteria, dirt, and grime yep. can cause breakouts. So exfoliating maybe two, maybe three times a week can be great for you, especially for us girls wearing makeup. <laughs> it's important to get all of that off of your face, especially while you're sleeping at night. Skincare tip number five is detox, yeah. one of our favorite words. So there are a million different ways you can detoxify your body. We've already talked about hydration, we've talked about nutrition, but also moving your body. So sweat is huge. Sweat is a big one. Sweating is like an oil change for the body and we like to do it every day if we can. So John and I, my one of my best friends, he and I used to go to the gym and sit in the sauna like once or twice a week and it felt so, so good. Your body gets plump and warm, those pores open up and you just drip sweat for hours and sometimes it even lasts till after you leave. Something I really love to do is indoor cycling or spinning classes. Whenever yeah. I leave, it looks like I literally just came out of a swimming pool right. in my clothing, <laughs> soaking wet. Yep. But you don't have to do anything intense or super high energy necessarily in order to sweat it out. Yeah. Another great thing would be to try a hot yoga class. Right, and again, I sometimes feel like I can't swim sweat like oh I'm working out super hard but I'm not sweating sometimes that just means you need to hydrate more which takes us back to one of our tips before drink plenty of water and then do your exercise and you'll burst out and get that sweat moving <laughs> eat clean move your body rest well these are all great ways to detoxify and on the nutrition note click the link below for my three-day juice feast detox yes so many people have done this and been commenting and letting us know how good they feel after this juice feast you've got to try it skincare tip number six stress not more but less <laughs> uh, i know all too much about stress anxiety 
all of these feelings of fear. What's going on? What's going to happen? A new baby? Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. I have been freaking out lately and my cortisol levels in particular have been through the roof and it's really kind of a pain in the pain in the neck. But you've got to learn to manage that stress if you want to keep a healthy body, healthy mind and healthy looking skin. Something that we fall into the trap of a lot is that perfection can be the enemy of progress. Yep. So no matter how we eat, how we move, how we, how we rest, we always try to do it our best. Yes. But sometimes when we fall into the trap of perfectionism, it leads to extra stress and it just makes us ultimately unhappy. So you can only be as healthy as you are happy. So yep. do what it takes. Like Dusty said, maybe you slow down a little bit, you know, spend some time <laughs> decompressing. One tri uh, quick trick is that cortisol is at its highest in the mornings. So yes. I try to do a morning meditation every day. I don't get it done every day. I'm not perfect, but it definitely helps. Get that cortisol down and your skin will reflect how you feel on the inside. So our seventh and final skincare tip to combat acne and aging and give you that beautiful glowing skin is... Don't, don't is... Don't. <laughs> Why do we keep saying it so different? So our seventh and final skincare tip is <laughs> don't, don't touch. touch. <laughs> I don't think I've ever touched my wife's face one time. As much as I would like to, and even if I'm doing it in a sweet way, she's like, no, 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 do not touch the face. <laughs> I've told him time and time again, I'm more like a cat, less like a dog. Right. Dogs you can pet and scratch and tickle and touch wherever you want and they yeah. will be completely satisfied. Yes. And cats are like, mm -mm, do not touch. There are very <laughs> specific areas, <laughs> but don't touch your face because I think about going to the coffee shop and same thing. I'll oh, be man. sitting there at my computer and before I know it, I'm resting my hand on my chin and I've always got breakouts right down there. Yep. So we, you know, the hands are going to be the germiest parts of our bodies. Even our cell phones are germy. So we're touching our phones and then touching our faces. Yes. Who knows where those phones have been or what our hands have gotten into. <laughs> right. It's just not a good combination for, for happy, healthy skin. No. So acne is actually caused by the bacteria that gets trapped in those pores under the skin. And so like Erin just said, we don't know what we're touching, so don't touch your face. So there it is, our <laughs> top seven skincare tips and tricks to help combat acne and aging and to give you that youthful glowing skin that we all so desire. Yes. <laughs> Continue to nourish your body from the inside out for that youthful glow. Yep. Don't touch the face <laughs> and you'll be golden. <laughs> it's all about eating, moving, and resting your best for optimal nutrition. You will feel better and you will look better as a result. Stay tuned. Hopefully you guys love these skincare savvy videos because we're planning on doing two more for you guys. We're yep. going to dive deeper into our top seven foods for ultimate skincare, yep. anti-aging, and combating acne, as well as sharing some of our homemade DIY concoctions that you can try at home for better skin. So if you guys like this video, you know the drill, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, click that bell to stay notified, comment below, leave us some sweet nothings in the comment section. Yes, let us know what tip you're most excited to implement into your life or what has helped you the most. Yep and follow us on social media, all forms, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. We're there at DB Stanzik and at Aaron Stanzik. Follow us, give us a like, DM us, keep in touch. <laughs> Let's build the Eat, Move, Rest family. Signing off again, Eat, Move, Rest. Your best. Peace. <laughs> Bye guys.